Hey everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine. And in today's Inkscape video, we are going to work on object to path. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so on my screen right here, I just pulled up a file that I had already created. It's from a stocking tag file that I actually sell. But to show you what I'm about to do, I'm gonna go ahead and add some text first. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to the left-hand side and create and edit text and just click anywhere on my screen to do that. And I'm just going to type in a name and I'm actually going to leave it as is because this is the text or the font that I wanna work with. So I'm going to, after typing it out, I'm going to select it by going to select and transform objects, the selection tool that you'll be using a lot. Now it's selected, but it is not compatible with your Glowforge machine just yet. So if you were to save it right now and you wanted to cut this out or engrave it or whatever you wanted to do with it, it would not upload to your Glowforge machine. It would only upload the compatible piece that you have with it. So this is not compatible yet, but that's what we're going to work on right now in terms of editing it to make it compatible. So in order to do that, we're gonna go up to path and select object to path. And now it's compatible. So as you can see, it really didn't make any obvious changes, but it did make a change as far as compatibility. So now I can edit it how I want to. So I'm gonna, if I wanted to ungroup it, I can do that. So I can go to object and ungroup. And as you can see now, if I zoom in a little bit more, it ungrouped each individual letter. So if I didn't go back, go to path and object to path, and then I tried to ungroup it, it would not ungroup because you couldn't edit, edit it just yet. But now it can do that. And you can go ahead and group it if you want to again. But if you wanted to just move your letters around individually, now you can do that because it's ungrouped and it's compatible. So let's just say you wanted to go ahead and make this stocking tag and have these letters cut out into the stocking tag, you can do it like that. Or if you wanted it to engrave it like this, you can do that as well. So the whole point is just to make sure it is compatible with your machine. And in order to do that is just the simple step of going to path and object to path. And of course, you'll need to keep that text selected in order to do that. So I hope that was helpful. If you have questions on that, please let me know. And if you're interested in buying your own Glowforge machine, please feel free to use my referral code that's listed in the description box below on where you can get money off. Plus, I would get credits too, which me and my family truly appreciate. And if you're interested in joining our new Facebook group, it's called Students of the Forge, where we share helpful tips and ideas and projects. That's listed in the description box below as well. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.